Hello, dear students. Today we're going to talk leadership and quality culture. After completed this chapter, you will be able to explain the leadership techniques used by leaders to inspire their followers. You could discuss the principles of leadership for quality. You'll be able to explain the PDCA leadership model. You will be able to discuss the critical success factors for developing quality culture. <coughs> leadership plays an important role in quality management. Uh, in order to maintain quality management standards organization, they must have the highest standards of leadership. The concept of quality management requires a high level of participation and teamwork throughout the whole organization in all facilities and activities. So, fundamental of the management style philosophy questions, there are some questions about it. How do we communicate with your staff as a leadership? How do you obtain their commitment and motivation as a leader? How good is your teamwork works? Are they good alone or not? You should check it as a leader. Do you need to change your management style? Could you benefit from multi-level problem solving task teams or not? So the questions given above allows an organization to effectively align its quality-related activities with, with leadership style and managerial philosophy. At this point, the important note that managerial philosophy is closely linked to with different management styles. So, when we look at it, Leadership styles, we're talking about autocratic management, participation management, charismatic leadership, transactional, transformational, and management by fact. So, autocratic management means approach whereby managers mainly concern about increasing workplace efficiency. And they pay little attention to the workers to people who work in the organization or in the businesses. When we talk about participating management, uh, it's a, compared to autocratic management, then different than the auto, auto, autocratic management because unlike authoritative managers, participating managers, they are concerned about workers, people who is in the organization or businesses but they might try to balance this concern with the business concern of the organization. <coughs> Charismatic leadership or management is also critical for successful implementation of quality management principles. Because char char charismatic managers or leaders they are capable of articulating a view that subordinates accept or thereby become a model for others to follow. Transactional and transformational leadership is a different leadership style. Transactional leadership refers to exchanges that occur between supervisor and subordinate on a daily basis. Transformational leadership, on the other hand, implies reshaping, changing entire strategies, where in an organization or in a business. As mentioned before or above, leadership is so important for the quality management. Because leadership can be defined in many different ways, depending on the leader perspective. 
or major perspective. So it's defined differently by those in various fields such as military, athletics, education, business and industry. From the standpoint of quality management, leadership refers to ability to inspire people. Which people? Who works in the business or the organization we're talking about? The workers from top to bottom we're talking about. Make a total willing and voluntary commitment to accomplishing or exceeding organizational goals. Leadership inspire their followers. That's the difference between managers and the leadership. They inspire their followers to commit what? To the goals of organizations or mission of the business. So leaders inspire their followers align personal with the vision, provide a sense of direction to them, effective and frequent communication keeps with them, with the workers, and there is empowerment in the leaders. They identify the parameters within which they make in the decisions, involve them, involve with the uh, workers to make decisions, encourage to them, think critically, think differently, encouraging workers to make initiative to solve problems and treat them, make mistakes for learning whatever they shouldn't do. They train and mentor to the workers. And there are some basic leadership cycle in the quality management. The first one, challenge what is it? Leaders keep their eyes open. What's going on in the organization? They have to know what is changing. And imagine what will be. They think different. They should think different. They should think what's going to be in the future. So in a creative way. Make it happen. Leaders mobilize their followers for making change happen. So leader for quality means leadership from the perspective of quality management is mainly based on philosophy of continually improving people, processes, products, and services. There are some principles, and the first one, embody values of quality. The second one, create unify of purpose. Focus on processes, not the outcome, and motivation of workers, persons, people. Control and participation is important. Learning, education and training is so important too. When we talk about PDA leadership model, plan, do, check and act we talked about. So it begins with plan, then goes with the do, Whatever we do, we should check it. After the checking, the controlling, we should get in the acting. Culture is so important for the organization and businesses. When we talk about culture, we're talking about judgments, produce, procedures, uh, values, customs, patterns. And it comes from workers who works in the organization and businesses. There are some elements about organizational culture, behaviors, norms, dominant values, rules, and the climate that we talked about it. Quality culture refers to specific part of the organizational culture. And it's a direct relationship with the quality principles. In this chapter, 
We explained the leadership techniques used by leaders inspire their followers. We discussed the principles of leadership for quality. We explain what is PDCA leadership model. At the end of it, we discuss the critical success factors that developing equality culture. See you in the next chapter.